morning, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, praise God. I praise God for the uh, Pastoral Training Commission of uh, the Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches. I see that uh, you are from, all from different provinces and regions around the country. Palakpakan naman natin ang isa't isa. And you can give each other a high five. Mag high five naman kayo. Praise God. Well, <clears throat> thank you, uh, Pastor Philip, uh, for your leadership of the Pastoral Training Commission of the PCEC. Alam po ninyo, when uh, uh, I started with PCEC, uh, siguro mga after a uh, year and a half, I received a note uh, from Pastor Phil. And uh, sabi niya, umiidad na tayo. At uh, gusto niyang... Uh, uh, mag-concentrate sa pastoral ministry at saka yung kanyang uh, ministerial fellowship sa San Pablo. But I requested him if he can stay for a few more years, mga 35 years pa. <laughs> no. um, sabi ko, alam po ninyo si Pastor Philip ay uh, professor ko, instructor ko sa Phoebus when I was 16 years old sa evangelism, and uh, so yung tinuro niya sa akin na bridge illustration, hindi na bura sa isip ko yan eh. <laughs> uh, but I, I praise God for uh, this time, na sabi niya, uh, sige, I'll, uh, I'll give a few more years um, para magkatu- magkatulong-tulong tayo sa uh, pastoral training commission, sa church health, until we see the younger generation uh, ready to take up uh, the mantle of uh, leadership of the Pastoral Training Commission. Uh, marami namang mga leaders, pero as uh, I started with the ministry, uh, I really appreciated yung mga uh, older generations. I'm not uh, saying na matandang matanda na siya. But uh, I need uh, guidance also of uh, what happened in the past and uh, the vision of the past uh, as we see uh, PCEC and the body of Christ continue to grow and impact the whole country. Mabuti na meron tayong connection sa past. Ano ba yung vision at direction nila in the past so that uh, we can connect where we are right now at uh, magtulong-tulong tayo para sa fulfillment and attainment and accomplishment ng mga visions and goals. Of course, alam ninyo itong ating uh, uh, vision ng uh, Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches. Although I know that uh, the PCEC Pastoral Training Commission have been ministering and serving not only uh, within the family of PCEC, but uh, we have been serving the body of Christ. Uh, so, from uh, various organizations, uh, movements, uh, denominations outside of PCEC, nagsiserve tayo uh, as a pastoral training needs. But uh, ito po ang ating vision. This is just a, uh, a quick, quick uh, review. Okay. Our mission is to glorify God by catalyzing the multiplication of evangelical churches that will transform communities to be Christ-centered. Um, meron po tayong bagong website. This is still under construction, yung ating uh, pceconline.org. Uh, Yun ay unti-unti nating if phase out until yung lahat ng mga... Uh, contents ay ma-transfer natin sa pcec.org.ph. Uh, Salamat sa IT team natin at mga volunteers natin na nagde-develop niyan. Ang PCEC, we were founded in 1964. As of July uh, 2017, after... The, the, the successful 32nd PCEC National Assembly. And uh, I believe you were furnished the declaration of the 32nd PCEC National Assembly. Uh, tayo po ay binubuo ng uh, 78 denominations, 
more than 35,000 local churches inside these denominations. And as of today, there are 248 missions organizations within our family. To God be the glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are continually growing and uh, the organization is uh, continually being used by God in impacting the nation uh, for national transformation through uh, discipleship and church multiplication. Ito po ang ating uh, mga strategic thrusts ng uh, PCEC. Leader, leadership development. At uh, pangunahin nga po dyan sa leadership development ay yung pastoral training. Of course, there are 18 commissions uh, and two more are being added right now. Uh, yung pastoral training commission, yan ay pangunahin sa leadership development. So, that means inaasahan natin talaga itong uh, pastoral training commission, ang topic and uh, other uh, training uh, arms uh, or training uh, movements within uh, PCEC for leadership development. Ngayon, um, meron tayong, of course, uh, formal and non-formal uh, ministerial training. Uh, recently, ito pong uh, weekend na ito, yung uh, The Word for Everyone uh, Ministries International Bible College was welcomed by Pabats, yung uh, church that was founded by uh, Manny Pacquiao and Pastor Boy Buwan. Pastor Boy Buwan is graduate of Presbyterian Theological Seminary. That is na PCEC member then. At uh, although ang the word for everyone ay hindi pa nag affiliate sa Presbyterian Church, pero they have formally uh, give, gave their uh, intention at saka yung desire na mag-work uh, together with PCEC. In fact, uh, kaya po tayo nandoon during uh, the dedication of their Bible College, Prayer Mountain, Baptistry, and their 3,000 seats uh, worship center. Uh, so salamat sa Panginoon dahil itong ating uh, uh, pastoral uh, training, merong formal, may non-formal. Uh, we are also uh, sige, pa, sa presentation na ito, I will give a uh, few updates ano, on, on what's happening. Ito pong uh, PABATS, Philippine Association of Bible and Theological Schools, uh, composed of more than 50 Bible schools and seminaries. Uh, ngayon ay uh, si Pastor June Osorio ang presidente nito. And uh, ito ay um, actively, I am helping uh, PABATS. In, in fact, I am inviting them uh, and PCEC will host the office of PABATS in the PCEC uh, National Headquarters so that it will have uh, 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 greater stability and permanence uh, and uh, maging uh, open pa sa uh, services sa body of Christ. Christian Unity. Uh, the Justice, Peace and Reconciliation Committee, Peace and Reconciliation Co uh, Commission. So ito po yung uh, second uh, strategic trust ng PCEC. Church Growth and Missions, Sectoral uh, Discipleship. Diyan napapaloob yung uh, Philippine uh, PCEC Children's Ministry Network, the National Youth Commission, Women's Commission, the uh, Men's Commission, which is the Promise Keepers, and uh, Social Transformation, Christian Convergence and Good Governance, Fellowship of Christians in Government, Association of uh, Community Development, uh, ano na nga yung A? Um, associations. Yeah, so, ito po ang uh, mga strategic trusts. Of course, I've been going around the country, and uh, we thank God sa mga developments. Napakaganda ng nangyayari sa Body of Christ. Uh, although there are some uh, uh, pressing uh, challenges, lagi ang uh, politics, uh, kapag ka ito pumasok, ay nagkakaroon ng uh, fracture. Uh, and uh, ngayon ay meron tayong mga struggles dyan, but uh, uh, hindi natin pinapabayaan 
na yung gains ng uh, 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 unity, uh, the strengthening of the unity of the body of Christ is always a, an effort na kinakailangan nating uh, e-strive. <clears throat> okay? Um, you have seen this before. I have uh, presented this in many meetings. At uh, dito nakita natin, as, as presented by the uh, uh, Philippine Challenge, ito po yung uh, progress ng church growth natin ano, from 5,000 to 72,000 right now. Uh, the percentage of born-again Christians from 1.8 to over 10.3 million right now. Um, many believe that this is, and I, I really believe that this is a very conservative estimate. Kasi as we look at the data right now, there are so many independent organizations and uh, many um, outside uh, organizations, like for example, churches in Japan, in the Middle East, in the United States, in Canada, in Australia, are planting churches in the Philippines, but are not fully coordinated dito sa mga denominations at saka sa organizations natin dito. Pero thank God, ngayon, I am also asking uh, itong mga continent uh, representatives nito to send us data. Anong mga churches and organizations ang nagpa-plant uh, dito sa Pilipinas so that we can tally all these uh, results. Okay? So, I believe it's uh, more than 10.3 million or the number of believers, more than 10.4 million. Uh, yung iba nagsasabi, this is about uh, 13% or 13 million. Hindi pa kasama yung... Uh, mga 10% ng 13 million Filipinos that are living outside of uh, the boundaries of the Philippines. Okay? Um, well, ito ay important lessons on unity. Uh, and this is very important also uh, sa mga provincial and regional. I always emphasize that every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste. And no city or house divided against itself will stand. Uh, while evangelism, discipleship, church multiplication, training, ito po yung ating push. Pero we would remember that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ's uh, emphasis when he was here is about the expansion of, and the growth of the kingdom of God. Amen. It's about the rule and the reign of Jesus Christ in the hearts of people. Uh, the, kingdom, the kingdom come, they will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That, is, that was the prayer of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, um, as one kingdom uh, of God ruled and reigned by the Lord Jesus Christ, ito po ang ating uh, uh, gusto rin na itulak dito sa ating bansa. So, United we stand. Makita po natin itong uh, very important uh, point sa history, church history ng Pilipinas. Nagkaroon ng uh, surge sa Philippine church growth in 1974 to 2000 where we planted 15 churches every day. And uh, more specifically, ito pong highest point ng church growth sa Pilipinas I 1985 and 1986. If you would remember, ano ba yung nangyari ng 1985-1986? Ed, sa revolution yan, meron tayong crisis. Pero hindi na hadlangan ng crisis ang church growth sa Pilipinas. Yun ang pinakamataas. 15 churches. At uh, of course, you would remember, that was the time of Dawn 2000. You, do you remember? How many of you remember Dawn 2000 movement? Okay, yan po yung mga matatanda ng iglesia, yung mga nakakatanda niyan. Uh, pero nagkaroon po tayo ng, ano, ng uh, radical decline according to Philippine Challenge sa uh, uh, RP, Church Growth. Yung 2000 to 2010, uh, bumaba yung uh, church growth rate. Uh, five churches planted each day. Pero uh, sa mga statisticians, ang sabi nila, posible, konti na lang yung i-reach out. Kaya, uh, bumaba din yung uh, church planting. Pero, uh, ang, 
ang reality also is the population growth is continually and rapidly growing. So kahit na anong efforts natin ng church planting, kulang pa rin. At sapagkat mas mabilis yung population growth. Pero key reason dito ay yung uh, divided effort, divided. Uh, um, wala pong uh, pagkakaisa ang body of Christ sa Pilipinas pagdating sa efforts ng church growth and missions, lalong-lalo na nung nagkaroon ng split ang maraming organizations nung 2000 to 2010. Uh, so you will see that in 1974 to year 2000, ito yung uh, nangyari, nandyan yung uh, uh, dawn 2000. Dito, medyo nagkaroon ng uh, decline during this time, pero... After 2012, medyo nag-spark uli ng uh, konte uh, dito dahil merong mga uh, ginawa ang Panginoon. Uh, so, uh, the same uh, data dito sa percentages and number of believers. Nakita na rin ninyo ito. Uh, ito yung nangyari ng 2000 and uh, 2010 na nagkaroon ng uh, radical decline yung mga uh, ito, Samar, Leyte, Negros Oriental. Dati ito ay nung 2000, uh, 74 to 2000, ang uh, church growth rate ay 10%, bumagsak ng 4.8. From 12.7, bumagsak ng 3%. 13 to 12, uh, 1.2. Ito, grabe ito, 15 to 2. Uh, 9.7 to 3.4, yung copies. Uh, medyo tumaas kahit na anong nangyari. Uh, kasi may mga ano ba doon? May mga pakpak? <laughs> okay. Uh, yan. So, uh, we do not have uh, time for this, ano, but uh, we have done this uh, uh, church planting consultation. And uh, Ang mga ano, ang mga reason, uh, dalawang uh, very definite at saka um, heavy ang impact ng division ng body of Christ. Pero we have seen that key also is unhealthy situation in churches. Yung mga churches, there was a rapid multiplication of churches during the dawn 2000. Pero uh, kinapos yung uh, training of pastors. Maraming mga no, maraming mga church plants ang leader at leaders dahilan sa rapid multiplication at launching ng new church plants. Yung mga na field na mga church planters at mga pastor doon ay, uh, of course, hindi naman natin ina-undermine yung mga efforts ng mga local churches. Pero marami ay walang training at walang tools and equipment at nagpunta na sa church planting work. So, ang mga naitanim ng mga simbahan, marami talaga ang namatay. Uh, and this is a global uh, situation. Sa United States daw, uh, according to Team America, uh, yung mga time na yan, about 50% ng mga new church plants ay nangamatay. Ang reason? Hindi healthy yung mga churches na nagtanim, kaya yung mga naitanim na simbahan din, after five years, nangamatay din. At pagkatapos nun, ang uh, isa sa uh, very main factor, yung mga unhealthy uh, pastors then. So, very crucial yung uh, ating ministry. Amen po ba? Yung, yung uh, training ng pastors. This is so crucial. And we have seen that in the past. But uh, anyway, uh, ito po ang ating uh, uh, situation. The number of churches in 2012, 66,000. 
total number of churches in 2017 according to uh, philippinechallenge.org. Uh, by the way, ito pong uh, website na ito ay uh, napaka-helpful sa atin because uh, uh, all the barangays, the cities, the provinces, and the regions, nandyan po yung mga uh, continuing updates and uh, research ongoing uh, to feed us with uh, very, very useful and important uh, information. Percentage, number, number of unchurched barangays, approximately 20,000 uh, as of today. And number of unreached population living in these barangays, approximately 25 million. So parang isang bansa pa. One country within a country, 25 million. Uh, but uh, according to our research also through uh, Philchal, itong uh, unchurched barangays na ito, at itong 25 million na ito, the bulk of this is in the autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao. So, during the National Church Planting Consultation, merong strong realization na yung mga conventional and traditional approaches in church planting would not work in these areas. Pero, in other areas of the Philippines, yung mga traditional and conventional methods of church planting would still work. Pero dito, sa maraming 20,000, these are the least evangelized, the UPGs, uh, kaya iba ang approach dito. Um, all right? Quickly, I would just uh, go through this. Salamat sa Panginoon. This is what's happening since uh, 2013. Ito pong mga leaders ng uh, PCEC, uh, PJM, yung mga grupo na sinusuportahan ng IFP, uh, Intercessor for the Philippines, and NFS, patuloy po ang fellowship niyan. At uh, through the Palawan 1, 2, 3, and 4, uh, there will be another one in November 21 to 25. This is uh, galvanizing, strengthening, uh, affirming unity and uh, oneness in the body of Jesus Christ in the Philippines. Uh, many of you have seen these pictures, pero these are moving pictures of uh, how God has been blessing the body of Christ in the Philippines. Uh, Pastor Peter Tanchi is now part of the PCEC board. Uh, he has been helping PCEC. But when I talked to him about uh, a year ago before the biennial, I told him... Uh, Isa sa major push at uh, effort na gagawin ng PCEC in the next uh, five years and uh, after uh, Philippines Vision 120 by 2020 is to uh, strengthen uh, the health uh, of the churches in the Philippines and multiplying disciples, disciple makers, and uh, churches. Sabi niya, I'm 100% in. Uh, and then, ganun din si Brother Eddie Villanueva. Sabi niya, in uh, many, many years past, I have uh, been distracted. At, uh, ano niya talaga ito, sinabi niya. Pero in the last uh, few years of my life, uh, we were just together the other night. Uh, sabi niya, in the last uh, few years of my life, I really want to devote my time in the discipleship of the nation and multiplication of churches. And so sabi niya, I'm with you 100% uh, Bishop Noel and PCEC and seeing Philippines Vision 120 by 2020. Uh, and he has appointed the General Secretary of JIL to be part of the PV 120 by 2020. Uh, si Pastor Doming Rivera, he's always there in our meetings, including the NCR and the international uh, coordinator. So, salamat sa Panginoon sa uh, movements na yan. Moving together as one. Ito, hindi masyado maganda itong picture na ito. Uh, pero, ang picture na ito, pagka umalis ang isa, bagsak lahat. So, kailangan natin ang isa't isa. Yan. Uh, ito ang realization 
na naghingian ng tawad at uh, inaffirm ng mga leaders natin that uh, we really need each other. There, there were tears of repentance in 2013. Fresh word from God. Bishop Manny Carlos of Victory Christian Fellowship. Uh, ito mga JIL. Of course, uh, Bishop Jonel Melan. Uh, yan, mga matatagal nang hindi nagkamayan at uh, nag-usap. Pero salamat sa Panginoon. Ngayon mga BFF na uli. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Okay. Wow. Uh, look at those ano, hugs. Ano, na, and uh, we affirm we are one body. And uh, okay. And so this is the verse that I uh, use as I go around. Only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of you that you are standing firm in one spirit with one mind striving side by side for the faith of the gospel. Uh, we need to work together more than ever. Uh, ito pong uh, Palawan 1, 2, and 3, 4, manifesto. We identified, ano ba itong areas of cooperation? Na hindi na tayo magtatalo dito. Talagang uh, pag sinabing ito, ang gawin natin. Uh, number one is the discipleship of the nation. We want the whole country evangelized. And all the Filipinos evangelized. And of course, to become disciple makers. But key uh, areas of cooperation is pastoral training and church health. All right? Because uh, there's a realization nga na isa ito sa crucial factor para sa discipleship ng ating bansa. And then, uh, redundant ito. Dapat multiplication of churches or church multiplication and national transformation, and uh, nation building. Okay? This is Philippines uh, Vision 120 by 2020. Uh, during the uh, uh, 2015 um, National Assembly of PCEC, ito po ay inilaunch natin. But the, but the vision is to mobilize all the 60,000 churches so we encourage uh, the PJM, the NFS, IFP, and the NCCP. Ang uh, kulang na lamang sa NCCP ay lahat ng denomination mag-participate because yung pong uh, iba yung setup nila, uh, ang mga denominations nila. Uh, parang tayo din sa PCEC ay autonomous. Uh, but uh, sa NCCP, more are active in, uh, some are very active in church, in discipleship and church planting, but others are heavily on the uh, social concerns and social responsibility. So this is not only PCEC, but the whole body of Christ in the Philippines. Uh, the 72,000 churches, we are mobilizing uh, para sa vision 120 by 2020. The vision is to see 120,000 churches by the year 2020. And we want to see healthy, holistic harvesting. Traditional churches, simple churches, house churches, and discipleship movements in every barangay in the Philippines. And of course, this church, the Philippine church, will be used by God in reaching the diasporas and reaching uh, and uh, intentionally discipling and training new missionaries so that they will be used by God wherever they are in more than 100 countries of the world. Okay? So, when this was launched, the challenge is for every church to plant, to start one church in the next five years. So, last 2012, there were 66 thousand churches. From 2012 to 27, nag-spike po yung growth natin. Thank God. And uh, we saw na yung uh, uh, the strengthening, the affirming of uh, the unity in the body of Christ has great impact in seeing uh, church growth in the Philippines. 72,000 uh, churches 
and that's actual according to Philippine Challenge. So by year 2020, our vision is to see 120,000 uh, churches. Uh, churches do not start like this. It could start with just few friends and a family in a home. So, ang ating uh, inspiration at a challenge sa bawat church, huwag tayong mga harap na maging CCF or BCF lahat. Kundi, let's start in our home. Every home can be a start of a new church. Amen? Amen. Every home in the Philippines, every believer's home in the Philippines can be a start of a new church plant. So, kung ito po ang mangyayari, Yung 120,000, napakaliit na vision yan. But we need to track our growth. It's important to see, to simplify the vision by saying, we are 60,000, let's make it 120,000 by, uh, uh, you know, mobilizing uh, every church to plant one church uh, in the next five years. But CCF, VCF, and many of your churches, even JIL, sabi nila, one church in every five years, ang liit naman ang pananampalataya nyo. <laughs> Some of you are planting churches one or two or five every year. Uh, but we need to track the growth. So ito ay simple, realistic uh, uh, goal para sa ating bansa. 120,000 uh, can easily be attained by the grace of God. So these are some of the materials and the branding. We are producing uh, bookmarks. Right now, this is in the printing press. Uh, ito pong uh, uh, last quarter of the year, we will have massive uh, uh, cascading of this vision. Uh, October 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, I will be in Butuan, Cagayan de Oro, Dipolog, and Zamboanga. And uh, in every meeting, there will be, our goal is 500 pastors uh, to cascade this vision. And they are all excited in Mindanao. And uh, many of uh, uh, the discipleship movements, even uh, campus uh, missionary work. Meron po bang uh, connected sa Philippine Campus Crusade for Christ dito? Uh, campus Crusade for Christ? Meron? Uh, si- okay. Uh, ito yung uh, Kenny. Uh, ito po yung um, Philippine, ano ba? Impact. Impact Philippines. Before, ang sabi nila, they are starting campus ministries. But uh, in connection with the global impact and the Philippines Vision 120 by 2020, the goal of uh, Philippine Campus Crusade for Christ are not only starting and strengthening campus ministries, but to start 7,000 campus churches by the year 2020. And every denomination in PCEC, SIBA, uh, the uh, denomination where, where I served uh, in the last uh, uh, nine years, the goal is 2,025 churches by the year 2025. And Assemblies of God, all the uh, denominations may kanya-kanyang mga goals ng uh, uh, church planting. Okay? So, uh, how can our church participate in seeing every barangay in the Philippines? Uh, look at uh, Philippi- www.philchild.org So, I challenge every uh, pastoral organizations, uh, denominations, and churches. If you want to plant churches, uh, wag yung uh, Basta uh, randomly mamili ng barangay or place. Kundi meron tayong most needy cities, most needy regions, most needy barangays in the country. Piliin natin yan. Piliin natin yan. Uh, and so what can we do as pastors and church leaders to encourage the church to plant churches? We want to mobilize. Okay. These are some of the, re, uh, the prayer requests. You know? uh, of course, I share this uh, in one of, uh, uh, in two events in Mindanao also. Pero I highlighted 
yung uh, dito uh, for us, for every church to be healthy. And key to uh, healthy churches are healthy pastors. And of course, a healthy pastor, maraming uh, 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 factors and elements dyan. But key to that also is the proper training of the pastors. I would just uh, go back quickly dito sa... Isang slide na to. Okay? <clears throat> uh, ito pong uh, uh, vision na ito. Uh, of course, healthy, uh, holistic harvesting. Ito yung sinabi ko kanina sa inyo. Traditional churches, uh, simple churches. Our, our prayer is uh, hindi lang mga traditional churches ang may plan sa Pilipinas. But uh, right now, uh, every Christian businesses or offices kung lahat ng kumpanya ay merong simple church then every company will be discipling their employees and personnel call centers every Philippine national police camps ay merong discipleship simple churches every AFP camps Wow. Kung lahat ng ito, in every hospital ay merong discipleship movement. Every school, nung uh, we relaunched the PCEC Sports Commission, we invited, and this is the, the beginning kung bakit talaga si Senator Manny Pacquiao ay naging uh, partner natin sa PCEC and uh, that's the reason why also we were invited to the uh, grand opening of his uh, building. Um, I visited him in the Senate office. And uh, you know, he, he was giving his uh, brief testimony. But I told him, you are first an athlete. Ah, sabi niya, Bishop, yan talaga hindi mawawala sa dugo ko. Kaya kahit na senador na ako, gusto ko pa rin magboxing. Diba? Ilang beses na nag-retire yan eh. Pero nasa dugo niya talaga. So ang challenge ko sa kanya, sabi ko noon, yung pagiging athlete mo, ang dalangin ko gamitin ka ng Panginoon dyan. Kasi yan talaga ano mo eh. Gusto mong uh, uh, sa buhay mo, uh, boxingero ka. Sabi niya, papano? So I, I shared to him the vision of PCEC Sports Commission that uh, every basketball court, every sports arena can be a place of church planting, can be a place of disciple making. So sabi niya, wow, every basketball court, in every barangay there are basketball courts. If the church would utilize every basketball court for disciple making, every afternoon, every morning, you can use every basketball court, every tennis court, every sports arena. Parang nag-spark yung ano niya. Sabi niya, wow! I've been doing that. I've been doing that. Every boxing practice, meron akong evangelistic uh, Bible study. Sana lahat ng basketball court. And so we gathered after that, after that sharing. Sabi niya, uh, pwede ba i-gather natin yung mga... Uh, coaches, at saka athletes. And so we gathered uh, close to 4,000 coaches and athletes at the Cuneta Astrodome. At sabi ang declaration ng mga coaches and athletes, they will be part of Philippines Vision 120 by 2020. Ang goal nila, every coach a catalyst or a church planter. Every uh, Every basketball court, every court, a church in the Philippines. So katuwang natin sila sa discipleship ng ating bansa. Purihin natin ang pagnawan. So isa lamang po yan. So uh, simple churches. Uh, ito pa, uh, is site ko rin ito. Um, I was invited po as um, member ng uh, Armed Forces of the Philippines uh, Transformation Roadmap. Advisory Council. And uh, 
I suggested na merong uh, isang crucial area doon sa AFP Transformation Roadmap. Number two na gusto nilang i-develop ay yung uh, sa family. Uh, so naglakas doon po tayo. Sabi ko, oh, ang PCEC po at uh, particularly yung pamilya muna, Pilipinas, ay pwede tayong tumulong dyan. So praise the Lord. Ngayon, ang pamilya muna, Pilipinas, ang uh, training ng pamilya muna, Pilipinas, ay institutionalized, institutionalized na sa Philippine Army. And uh, we have trained 35 master teachers in the Philippine Army. At uh, in the next uh, quarter, ay meron pong mga training about the family in AFP, uh, in the Philippine Army. And uh, it will also be cascaded sa Navy, sa Marines, at uh, uh, hopefully sa PNP. But I know that in the Philippine National Police, there are so many uh, ministries also ang uh, purpose-driven at saka ang BOC. So, pag pinagtulong-tulong po ang lahat ng efforts na ito, including discipleship movements, house churches, uh, and I do not need to tell you that uh, in many places in autonomous region of uh, Muslim Mindanao, even in mosques and Muslim houses, there are worship worshipers of Isa al Masi right now. And they are mushrooming and growing. During the, uh, the church co- uh, planting consultation, I invited Nemuel Castro there. Castro des, isang a leader ng church planting movement sa Mindanao. At sabi ko, nabibilang nyo ba ang mga believers at saka mga house churches? Uh, it's hard to count. It's hard to count. Plus, you cannot announce. You cannot announce. Pero, so, paano natin maka-quantify? Paano natin maka-count yan? Sabi nila, we know uh, the top house uh, church leaders. Ah, okay. So every house church leaders, he knows his network and so on. So merong uh, count yan. Pwede nating ma-quantify yan. So ang lahat ito, pag nagtulong-tulong, the discipleship of the Philippines could happen. The completion of the Great Commission in our generation. Amen? But again, crucial to all this. We need to train our pastors. At ang dalangin ko, ang bawat isang uh, simbahan at uh, ang bawat uh, uh, lugar ng discipleship ay maging healthy, maging vibrant, and reproducing churches. So I would stop dito at uh, baka po meron kayong uh, question at uh, ano pa ang uh, pwede nating mapagtulong-tulungan. Uh, but before that, ito po, uh, you were uh, provided and furnished the uh, covenant of the Philippines uh, Vision 1 2020 signed during the uh, church uh, planting consultation, uh, church planting conference last February 28, 2017, where all of this data that I have presented were given. Um, so, kung meron po kayo nito, you can just, uh, I, you, you have probably uh, read this, but uh, all the Nats- National Church Planting Summit uh, church leaders and uh, coordinators have uh, representing the body of Christ in the Philippines have committed uh, to pray together and to be uh, strong in unity and the work of evangelism and discipleship. And this is also crucial. Uh, if, you could, if you would look at the last paragraph, the biblical church in the fulfillment of the Great Commission and the multiplication of churches, especially in the present time and seasons, we are open to the Holy Spirit's movement in various approaches in disciple-making and church planting, whether traditional, creative house churches, or simple churches. 
for as long as the biblical functions of the church are present. Ano po ang ibig sabihin natin dito? There's a tension between theologians and missiologists uh, because uh, dito ay parang uh, we define or redefine the meaning of the church. If you would remember in uh, during the dawn 2000, para maging church or local church, makaunt ka na local church, you must have at least 25 or 50 baptized members. Okay? At meron kang set of elders or deacons, you must have 52 worship services a year. And then, meron kang uh, ano, uh, offering, tithes and offering. Now, ito ba ay pwede sa house churches? 50 baptized members, 25. Uh, walang building, walang formal. But as long as they are functioning, they are doing the biblical functions of the church. Let us count them. They can be simple church or house church. Pero they are fulfilling the mandate of the Great Commission of discipling the nations. So nagkaisa po. Uh, I'm sure some denominations are still adjusting to this. Okay? Pero seven years ago, when I was still general director of CBAP, we have already adopted this, uh, this uh, the house church movements because uh, we are active sa NOSU, sa China, and uh, sa Indochina, and also in uh, sending missionaries in uh, Mindanao. So we have seen the need. But uh, we signed this covenant as symbol of our commitment to pursue this vision together as one body uh, by the grace of God. And in the declaration of the 32nd PCEC National Assembly, nandito rin po. So all of this that I have said is incorporated and summarized in this. To God be the glory. Praise God. Praise God.